Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on calculating the sample size with a finite population. I have here in this Excel worksheet the equation for calculating the sample size of a finite population. And you can see the components here in this equation I have on the left here. And I'm going to calculate this equation through a series of functions. And I'm going to start with the confidence level. And in the social sciences, oftentimes this is set at 95%. Another common level for the confidence level is 99%. I'm going to use 95. Next we have P, which is the population proportion. Uh, you can also use the sample proportion, which is P hat. If you know the population proportion, that is the percent of the population that has a specific characteristic of interest, you would use that, otherwise you would use the sample proportion. I'm going to use the most conservative value for P in this case, which is 0.5. That'll give us the largest sample size. So that's the most conservative value. Next we have the margin of error, otherwise known as the confidence interval. And again, this is something that you would specify as part of determining sample size. I'm going to use 0 0.04, a 4% margin of error. Next we have the population size. And for this example, I'm going to use 2,500. So we have a confidence level, 95%, a population proportion, 0.5, the margin of error, 4%, and the population size, 2,500. Next, moving down, I want to calculate alpha divided by 2, because I'm going to use that to calculate the z-score right below that. So I can see here that alpha divided by 2 is going to be 0 0.025, but I want to build a function that calculates that for me. So this will be equal sign, 1 minus the confidence level divided by 2. That gives me the 0 0.025. And then for the calculation for the z-score, this will be equal sign norm dot s dot inv. This function has one argument, probability, and that'll be 1 minus the alpha divided by 2, so 0 0.025. So the z-score associated with the 95% confidence level is 1.96. Now I could directly calculate the sample size from here, but that function would be relatively large as the equation is large. So I'm going to calculate the numerator and the denominator in separate cells. And then for the sample size, just build a function that takes the numerator and divides it by the denominator. So first, we'll calculate the numerator. So I'll start this function with equal sign, and it'll be z squared, which will be 1.96, then shift 6 for caret, 2, that's z squared, then shift 8 for asterisk, then we have p times 1 minus p. So this will be 0.5, Again, asterisk, and then 1 minus p, 1 minus 0. 0.5. And we'll divide this by the margin of error squared, divided by 0. 0.04, shift 6 for caret, and 2. So this is our function for the numerator. The value is 600.23. That's the value of the numerator. Now to save some time, I'm going to copy this function from the formula bar up top, control C, and then move to the cell below the numerator, and control V, paste that in. I just need to make two changes to this function so that it will work here is the denominator, so that it will be accurate. So 1 plus will go at the beginning of the function. And then here in the denominator, 
where I have the margin of error squared. It'll be shift eight for the asterisk and then the population size, 2,500. So we have 1.24. So then for the sample size, equal sign, numerator, divided by the denominator. So with these specific conditions, with a 95% confidence level, population proportion set at 0.5, margin of error 4%, and a population size of 2,500, we have a sample size of 484. I hope you found this video on calculating the sample size with a finite population to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.